Hey everyone, how's it going? I got a cool little um, demonstration motor or like uh, a motor you might see in a classroom or a DIY motor or uh, just something that's not really meant to be used to do anything. It's more of like just for showing. Uh, there's no brand, there's no, there's no uh, identifying marks on it. Um, so it's a metal base. It's actually pretty heavy. This one, particular one, has got an electromagnet rather than a permanent magnet, and it's it is DC. But uh, there are other contacts here. I'll I'll get into that more later. So um, it's quite easy to switch over. So basically, this is um, like plexiglass, and slides off. And then you move over, slides on, and then you tighten the nut back up, and that's it. Uh, so these aren't proper carbon brushes. You can see they're just copper bars, and you can see there's actually quite some wear on them there. Very thin. And they just rub right against the commentator bars right there. Only two bars because there's two two um, coils of wire. Um, I guess well, I guess I'll just hook it up now and show you guys what it uh, sounds like running. And I'll uh, I'll give you an RPM reading and uh, an amp reading. So as I said with this one. Um, it's not a permanent magnet, so you do have to energize it, so your power comes in. These two are for your uh, your uh, field winding. And uh, so it goes in, da -da -da, spins around, comes out, goes through here. That goes to one brush, goes through the brush, goes through these, and then back out, and then back to the power supply. Now this is low voltage. It will start. Well, sometimes it spins. Sometimes it doesn't. It might need a little help. But uh, it does start spinning at a very low voltage. I'm just gonna uh, control it with my uh, good old battery eliminator, and I'll give you a amp and a volt reading right there. And you see, right about there, at about four volts. And we have rotation. It's 770, 780, 811, 20 RPMs. Volts have dropped a little bit. But it's drawing 0.8 amps. Crank it up a little more. Let's see if I can move these over a little bit and get them in the get them all in view while I do this. There we go. Fifteen hundred. You can you can actually hear it. It's actually synchronized as a four-pole motor, which is about fifteen fifty RPM. A two-pole would be uh, three thousand RPM. But I can overcome that with a little additional voltage. So it's six six and a half volts. Still about, you can see it, the amps are all over the place. These brushes are not very good. So what, I, what I'm actually going to do, I'll do a follow-up video to this. Um, I'm going to try and uh, mount some uh, proper motor carbon brushes to this. Give it some proper brushes. We'll see, and that, that should improve the amperage. And that should increase its speed. It's right about 2,000. So there, 
are maxed out the very, uh, not very X, uh, battery eliminator. About 3800 RPM, 16 volts, about 1 amp. Now you can actually adjust this a little bit. This here slowed down. Now, if you kept going and you brought this down to the underneath, the motor would actually stop and reverse rotation, kind of like uh, kind of like reversing the positive and negative leads. But the amps go up as it slows down. You bring it back. Same thing with the other way. But the, the reason I think we'll get improvements in speed if I change the brushes out, no, I'm just going to make a little better contact on here by pushing a little more. Right. So I push on that a little more, and I get a speed increase. Quite a bit of a speed increase. I'll see if I can get that on the thing here. So both 41, so I'm push, gonna push here. Let's see if I can get it on camera. 46. Well, you get the idea. So yeah, I'm gonna try and put proper brushes on it and uh, we'll see what you can really do. Now there is um there is one thing I'm not sure of. So there's solid contacts for brushes on this side here. It's all wired into the same the same way. Just remove this here. So if you look here, now it might be a little hard to see, but if you look here, so your wire so wire solder right into this point for that side and right onto that point for the other side. Now it goes around the core here, blah blah blah. And then you can see these two plastic ones here, which have wire in them there and there, they're actually also they're also soldered right onto those same solder points. So does that mean that this motor can functionally run as an AC synchronous motor? I have tried AC on this and it really does not like it. So if um, if anyone knows what these other contacts for, um, let me know. If you can, if you can uh, let me know before I uh, do a follow-up video where I put uh, proper brushes on this and do another like speed test and amp reading on it, um, I'll uh, switch them over to here and do what you guys suggest it might be for. For all I know, this might be like a, a generator side generator contacts. This this here might be swappable with a permanent magnet, and this here would be generator contact points. So this guy actually functionally run as a generator. You could probably run a belt right off of this side if you wanted. I mean, this thing this thing actually turns very freely. And all it's got is like two uh, two needle point bearings on each side. So very quiet too. It's a nice little model. So, uh, yeah. So hit that uh, thumbs up if you like this video. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I do have another one. But I'm going to do a separate video on that. So uh, stay tuned for that one. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone.